Hey, you okay, sir, and welcome back to the Simpsons Tapped Out. Well, I am back at it, everybody, in this golfing updates, and we are in the third act at the moment. There are four acts, obviously, in major events, and I'm going to be getting the premium character of this act. Some of the characters in this update have been characters I didn't even remember in the show, but they were from newer episodes, and a lot of the newer episodes I've only ever watched maybe once or twice, unless it's a good episode, and then I watch it multiple times. The classic episodes that obviously I think most people watch again and again. But it's going to be... Chadlington. That's right. Who is he, you ask? That is a good question. Every four hours, 135 and 50 XP respectively. Obedient training. 150 smackers. What exactly is this? Oh, it's a caddy shack. Oh, yeah. Yep. Heads up! So that's where building really, comes that from. guy? We must be running out of characters. It is my absolute pleasure to meet you, player. I hope we have a great round today. Chadlington. Sometimes it sounds like I'm saying Chaddington. Got some money, can I have it? I see you, Chadlington. But this is the Caddy Shack. So a caddy shack, I guess, is a uh, golfing uh, shop? Let's tap the caddy shack before we move on to Chatlington. Golfing, golfing sounds, right? That's the theme, I think, of this episode. Oh, sorry, of this update. The sound of a cash register. The sound of golfing. And the sound of talking. Excuse me? Practicing witty one-liners. Are they hitting something? Like with a hammer or something? It sounds like they're fixing something. Hmm. Alright. Wait. He's actually voiced? That's a shocker. Especially because he's a newer character. Yo, Chadlington, I got a bone to pick with you. Uh, how can I help you pick the bone? What makes you such a primo caddy? Isn't it obvious? I'm much better than you ruffians. Jimmy tells us you get the biggest tippers in the caddying universe, and we want your secrets. And don't tell us it's not all attention to detail, because we bullies don't play that game. Threaten Chadlington. Oh no, the bullies. Don't do that. Stammer! <laughs> so if you're going to be going to the caddy shack, it's pretty obvious that the lights on the side will turn on. And that's probably it. Oh, there's a tree. There could also be a raccoon. Christmas Raccoon? I'm gonna go with Christmas Raccoon. <laughs> Alright, Chasington, let's see this raccoon. Come on! Nothing! No raccoon. But the lights are on. And that's pretty much it because there's not much else going on. I would have liked it if there was actually a Christmas raccoon, or just like a squirrel in the tree, and then it runs on top of the roof or something. It runs around on the roof and then goes back into the tree. That would have been a nice little touch. He makes a very interesting noise, doesn't he? I don't know why I'm the caddy of choice. You better figure it out. Raises a fist. I swear, I swear, I don't know. I just carry the bags and try to help out. That's it. I guess that I'll have to do. Let's let the man get back to work. But if anything comes to mind, you let us know. Understood? Uh, yeah, sure. Gulp. For some reason, I thought he was more weaselly. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Redfield. My name is Challington. I'll be your candidate today. Thank you. It is my first time playing the course. 
I'll do my best to guide you. The first hole is a dog leg left with two fairway bunkers about 213 yards out on the right side. I studied you on the driving range and your worst shots cleared 242 in the air. Bunkers should not be an issue. So drive to the right as it will give you an easy approach to the pin set at the back of the green. You're certainly well informed. I'm impressed. Dude, me too. He is knowledge personified. Take his advice. Oh, is it going to be bad advice though? No. Maybe. Maybe it'll be bad advice. And maybe we'll pull it all together in the end. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Impeccable shot, sir. How far is it to the green? From here, 102 yards, sir. That's a pitching wedge. Actually, I'd recommend a 9-iron. The green is rigged pretty heavy back to front, so you want to carry it to the back so the roll will put you right next to the pin. Hmm, I'll give it a try. To be fair, even if he is correct, you still have to execute. <laughs> Chatterton, this is shaping up to be the best round of my life. I too was impressed, sir. You had an incredible up and down on the 7th for Eagle. And you got me there. You told me to eat up with the 5-wood and it let me the perfect second shot. But here I am, 30 yards wide of the fairway. What's your recommendation this time? Estimate distances. So first animation? <laughs> you know it. After they have a good meal. Because he probably deserves it. Oh. He's thinking. What is he picking? What is that? A driver. Smack. Same, same one? Yep. He's going with that driver again. At least I think it's a driver. I really, really, really ever play golf and I'm really bad at it. But I do know like the clubs and stuff or a lot of them. Oh. We got a, what was that, a pitching wedge? Could have been a nine iron. I don't know. This is why I don't know the difference. Unless it says it right on the actual club, which it will. I'm not going to know the difference between like a nine iron and like... Those type of irons, they all look pretty similar to me. Going back to the driver. Is there actually a hole around here? No, there's not, but you can hit good old Augustus if you like. So we have two animations. We've got the driver, and we've got the, I'm guessing, a 9-iron. There's no good angle to the green with that sycamore in the way, but I know you tend to select your 3-iron from a bad line. Why, yes I do. So aim a bit to the left. Assume that slice, curve around the tree. You land right on the green with a bit of a long birdie putt, but a very makeable one. Chatterton, your talents are here are wasted on the golf course. Whispering. Chumplington isn't sucking at all. He's just talking and the guy's getting happier and happier. Whispering. That's because he's single-handedly saving that lame watch game. Whispering. I've seen enough. Let's go back to the clubhouse. <laughs> Amazing, Chatterton. Really seem to know my game. Have you caddied for me before? No, but I've spoken to a number of the other caddies around the clubhouse. I found it helps me get a complete picture of a golfer. Well done. Now, do you need any help finding my ball? What do you think? Chuckling. Of course not. Search for lost balls. <laughs> the second final animation. Search for lost balls. No, that's not a ball. There's one. A little bit gucky, but there we go. Just gonna be a turtle though? Nope, oh, there's that turtle again. Would it be weird to fathom that there could be a Christmas raccoon in the water? Oh, there's a bush! Hey, he found it! Not the rock. I really thought there would be the raccoon in that thing. But 
he found it. So good for him. I found your ball, sir, and took the liberty of making the best drop spot for you within the rules. You're the best damn caddy I've ever employed. You could be making a great living on the professional tour. Thank you, but I am quite happy here. Now, care for your six iron? I'm sure it's exactly right. <laughs> that is the best round of my life. All thanks to you. You've more than earned your tip, son. You're too generous, Mr. Redfield. I hope to carry for you again soon. That tears it, Chattington. What's your gimmick? Give it to us straight or we'll bring you in the sand trap. I've just had long days of practice. More practice and then practice, practice, practice. That sounds hard. See something easier or else. Err. Wait for his pounding. Practice ain't worth it and neither is he. Come on, guys. No bully beating? We're kind of disappointed, too. A jury spot is Tom Caddy. Oh, uh, thank you? Let's go to the squid part. I'm sure there's someone we can push off the pier to make it feel whole again. Phew, that could have been ugly. And that's why I'm the best. Good with clubs and dissonance, but also a brilliant actor. Winks. Huh. So he pretends to be like that? But he's also really, really smart though too, right? That that's that's true. But he pretends to be like that to the bullies, so he'll be able to keep his spot at the top. Ah, I figured it out, and I'm just as smart as he is. So yeah, that is the full walkthrough for Chadlington. I will be honest, that quest line was very, very entertaining. I didn't think it would be with all the golf talk, but I really, really enjoyed it. And the carry shack, it's not too bad as well. I like the look of it. Wish there was a bit more with the animation, like I said in the beginning. Would have been nice if there was an animal running across the top of the roof or something. That would have been a nice little touch. But as it stands, it's not bad. And there's also voice as well, I think. Unless they just kind of put in a default generic soundbite that's not really him, which could have been. But either way, I really enjoyed the character. Let me know down below, though. What do you think of Chalington? Subscribe for more tapped out videos, and I will see you with more premium characters down the road. And more in this golfing update very shortly. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you. Bye, everybody.